Twas the season of Christmas, and all through the cultures, movies of Santa rushed in like vultures. His pudgy appearance does make me sick. How terribly gluttonous they portray Saint Nick. The insult to the saint. I may blow a fuse when I see this travesty made by Hollywood shrews. Yet his often depictions are not always bad. Once they made Santa a Russian, and that was quite rad. The holidays offer a time sweet as honey, but big corporations are just after money. They make movies and shows about time in the snows, or random weird reindeers with a communist nose. I see objectified women, scantily clad, in a time of holiness, which makes me so mad. And the family movies are also pretty sad, as they're ever more taken by a cynical fad. How far we've strayed from a wonderful life, as now Christmas struggles and culture war strife. Hallmark movies are just way too cheesy, and some of these chick flicks are just way too sleazy. Adult sitcom cartoons parody the season in new vicious ways without any reason, and even good movies about the December are far from the subject we're meant to remember. These movies show gingerbread, stockings, and snow. But not everyone's Christmas is like that, you know. They are very wholesome. That is no lie. But they show the how and not the why. Such movies reveal the time they are made. But now social values rapidly fade. New movies show how modern people think and how low society can tragically sink. Pay no heed to reality benders. Daily reminder: there are only two genders. Reject the trash from Hollywood on meth and seek to remember the man of Nazareth. The best thing to do in Christmas with family is to remember the source of morality. Oh, and watch the movie by that guy named Zeffrelli. Jesus of Nazareth is the best Christmas movie because of the love in it. Most truly, this is the point of this wonderful season. Never forget the most glorious reason. There are many fun movies, yes, that is true, but they're not what really matters to you. Such plethora of movies are a mere Hollywood heist. They try to steal the season from our Lord Jesus Christ.